bought something for the truck. It's eight foot long. Any guesses to what it is? <laughs> Gotta get this wraith moved. Oh. Now, like, change. Why is the truck in here? Where's the race? Well, this is new. Your truck looks so tiny in this garage. It's not every day that the truck gets to be in this garage. Yeah. It looks good in here, though. Yeah. And uh, sorry, it's not going to be a camping video, it's going to be a, a truck video. Yes. Sometimes it's just as good. Sometimes it is. So what are we doing to the truck though? I bought something for the truck. It's eight foot long. Any guesses to what it is? <laughs> Comes in a very long skinny box. Comes from Truxedo. Yes it does. I bought another tonneau cover. What kind of tonneau cover did you get? Well it's the same brand as the tonneau cover that we put on the Chevy Dually when we had it. It's um, a Truxedo Truck Sport, I guess they call it. But this is a low profile. There's multiple different variations. Now, the one that I got for the, for the Silverado, the rail is set up top of the bed rails. Right. This one's going to sit inside the bed rails. Okay. The advantage there is that you have state pockets up here. And the old style that I used on the, on the Silverado, don't get me wrong, it, for a Tonneau cover it was less than 400 bucks and it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It was 99% waterproof too. I mean, when it rained, a little bit of water got in, but not much. Now, with this one, rails that sit on inside keeps these open, but you do lose some of your, your space here. Yeah, some of the width inside. But let's open this thing up and see what we got. Instructions. Yeah. One of my complaints about Ram is getting into the bed. At least my Chevy, Chevy's had like a cutout in the bumper. Yeah. I know there is like an optional like set that goes under here and you flip it down, but it should just come with it. Yeah. Is this is inconvenient to me. Yeah, I mean, you're not 20 years old anymore. Oh, I'm coming. Alright, <laughs> go ahead and close it. There, now it's closed. <laughs> Alright, we're done. <laughs> it's supposed to fit in these grooves, and I let it slip out like that. Oh, okay. So, gotta make sure you keep it in the, in the groove. In the groove. And then these fit, these teeth go in the grooves. does not like change. Why is the truck in here? Where's the race? Make sure that the top of this is even the top of this cap on the bed rail. Put three clamps in here spaced evenly. In case you guys are wondering, we did pay for this tonneau cover. All It's all of our doings. Full price. Full price, which was, what, six? Just under 600 bucks. Like 587 with shipping and tax and everything. Yeah. Not bad. No, it wasn't terrible. the side rails are on both sides and just lift this into place right underneath here right, there's a clip and right there's a clip so if you wanted you could actually take this whole thing off Huh. 
Yeah. That's pretty good. I thought there was going to be creases in it and it looks pretty, pretty good being rolled up. Still has that new time of cover smell <laughs> that we all know and love. Not for long. Man, this looks good. It does. Keep in mind that this will not be like water tight because if water goes down into these steak pockets, there's openings that go into, into the bed. The, yeah. Just probably be able to see it. Just like right, right there's an opening, right there's an opening. Yep. Over here on this side, yeah, right there, yep. back there. Yeah. But I like it. That was a lot easier to install. When you said you wanted to do it today, I was like, oh, it's gonna take a while. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> it definitely helped having you to do the. I because I was wondering myself, like, how would you lift and put down the tailgate? by yourself while you're in the truck. When I was doing these side rails, you kind of sandwich it in there. You kind of place it even with the top here and then you close the tailgate and then you put your clamps in. You want to make sure that as you clamp it down, there's a seal on this rail that goes in. Make sure it's even with the top of the, the bed rail. Yeah. It's super <laughs> easy. It looks really good. Yeah. I like it a lot. Hmm. Now, why did you get the tonneau cover? Just because you like the look or? Because I like the look. Um, because I got a regular cab. <laughs> I don't have a backseat to put stuff in. That's true. Now, I knew that going into this, but I also knew going into it that I was going to buy a tonneau cover. Right. So now I've got eight feet of space to put things. Storage. Yeah. This was the only tool I needed to install this. This is a half inch socket for six clamps. Yeah. That's all it took. That's all it took. It r really only took 10, maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, not long at all. It was not long. And then once you got the one side done, the other side went really fast. And then it was just put on the cover and roll it out. That was crazy. I like it. Since installing your Tonneau cover didn't take very much time. I figured we could get some other chores done, like washing vehicles. It is nice and sunny out at least, but hopefully that doesn't make it dry too quick for us. What we really need to do is rinse off all this, this mud that got there somehow. Hmm, I can't remember how that happened. <laughs> Hey! She's like, throw it, but don't throw it. A winter camper's job is never done until you wash all the vehicles every time. It's kind of an annoying thing. Alright, gotta get this wraith moved. Oh. Jeep and the truck are freshly washed too. See if they stay clean. We're gonna saw skull on the wraith. First things first. Let's get some of this mud off of there.
wraith is washed. We got the sprinkler set up to go underneath. Just gonna pull it all the way down the length of the, the wraith. Here's a little bit of the before. You can see it's all salty underneath. There's the lovely DPF. Here's underneath the back end. This is a storage compartment right here. We got the liquid spring suspension, all the different hoses, everything. Here's the one of the levelers. Everything is salty and it's coated. Let's see how well the sprinkler does. This is the underside of one of our storage bins just to show that it is fully saturated it with salt's gone from the sprinkler. You're doing a fine job there, Mikey. Uh, it swept. Now I can mop it. Yeah. Winter is hard on the floors. It is because as you can see, like it too gets salty and dirty and muddy and all the things. Excuse me. It's cold. Yeah, I just brought it out. We can't be the only ones who wash, like mop our garage floors pretty often, actually. That's why I invested in a commercial mop bucket. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I never thought that I would like having a commercial mop bucket. No, you're an adult when you get excited. <laughs> Oh, let's see the aftermath. It's bad. Oh. Yeah. It's like chocolate milk. There's just a whole bunch of dirt. Yeah, look at it. It's gross. Yeah. Looks pretty good though. I mean, it's definitely cleaner than it was before, that's for sure. It can't be any dirtier, so good job, Mikey. Yeah, you know, people see this big garage like, oh, it'd be so awesome to have this garage. I'm not gonna lie, it is. <laughs> but it is a chore keeping just the floor clean. It is, but it's the price we pay for gloriousness. Well, yeah, it's like 61 degrees in here right now. It's beautiful. It's an extension of our living space. It is, and it houses that bad boy <laughs> that we're awaiting getting in. Everything should be dry. Let's check out and see how the salt's gone did. Oh yeah. It did a really good job. Really good job. You can see those grind marks over there. That's where the factory put on, you know, right there. The uh, leveler. So they kind of ground away the paint. I need to recoat that. Oh yeah, looks a lot better under here. Oh yeah. Salt is gone. Some of our giveaways for the swag out are starting to roll in. We got an electric bike. We received an RV Level Pro to try out. 